in five, four, three. And welcome to the podcast, welcome to the vodcast, welcome to the broadcast. Boys and girls, welcome to the show. This is Convincing Idiots. My name's Dean. I I thought you were going to say you're the Zenial Dean. I'm so sorry. I am the Zenial. I apologize. I I am the Zenial Dean. Now we know. Sometimes I forget. Yeah. This this mid-generation. This is why you don't have any identity. You see what I'm saying? (laughs) Your generation. I don't know. Oh, I think I personally have an identity. It's, yeah. it's called asshole. Yeah, that's true. The, the, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I am Brian, Gen X. Mm-hmm. And uh, we are joined again by a, a second millennial, my cousin Scott Detra. Uh, the illustrious Scott Detra has Ooh. returned. The illustrious. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if I would go that far, but uh, good well, to be with you guys again. Uh, your your parents sent me a, a scratch off lottery ticket if I mention that again. So that's, yeah, <laughs> that's, yeah. A yeah. Yeah. Got, that's a win win for us. Go down there. You are. Some cheap marketing. <laughs> so along with uh, I'm I'm a little bit less illustrious. However, I am also yeah. a millennial, uh, and I am Nick. I'm always here. Uh, regardless well, let's of not what, go with Dean always or, here. what Dean or Brian's best efforts, I am mm-hmm. always here. Uh, and if you are always here, which you should be, then hopefully mm-hmm. you have uh, already gone to our uh, YouTube and our Facebook. Uh, those can be found by searching for Convincing Idiots, and you'll see the little yellow and black Einstein guy head or any of our lovely little heads on there as well. Uh, we can also be found on Twitter. Uh, that's at Convincing Idiot with no S. Uh, we're on Instagram at Convincing underscore Idiots. We're on TikTok at Convincing Idiots. Uh, we have an email account. That's convincingidiots at gmail.com. Uh, and hey, you know, you ever like, man, wish there was like uh, uh, links to all these things. Uh, like maybe like a like a like a like links that spurted up from out of the ground as if it would as be if from some sort of tree of links perhaps mm. well you're mm. in luck because we have a link tree and if mm. you go to google and you type convincing idiots link tree last i checked we're the only ones there that'll be us we have a link tree takes you to all of those platforms that i just mentioned uh, Also available wherever you enjoy listening to podcasts. If you enjoy listening to podcasts, you're definitely going to enjoy this one. Uh, so be sure to like and subscribe there, or ask your home assistant device to play the Convincing Idiots podcast. That's incredible, mm-hmm. Nick. It is. Yeah. Does your shirt come in an adult? It does not. Uh, okay. This is my childhood shirt. Okay. From 1996, <laughs> as a matter sure. of fact, and. Uh, wow. No, it's not actually. But uh, I like my shirts tight. I keeps it tight, Dean. I like to keep it tight. I keeps you it know, tight. You're, you're, the old schmedium really works for you. <laughs> it does. <laughs> I like it tight. It keeps it tight. <laughs> oh, I know that you're a youth size Power Ranger shirt. <laughs> if you're only listening to us right right now, so yep. It's actually his, uh, his nine-year-old sons, I believe, right? Like That's you guys right, can, yeah. You guys can wear each other's shirts He's and stuff. That's like, right, exactly. My yeah. wardrobe expanded uh, twofold that day when I figured that out, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> these, under- <laughs> these underwear are too small. <laughs> Dad, give them back. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. they keep, they make everything look real nice. They make everything you know bulge and look good. I keeps it tight. So mm-hmm. I tell them, keeps it tight. That's right. Like That's one right. of those metal clacking uh, things that go back and forth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, sp- speaking of keeping it tight, Nick, what are what uh, are we doing today? What is uh, it's a what special? Are, what day. is many months of work? Many, effort, many, many, many months us of to. work, aside yes. from the oh, many boy. months it took me to stretch out children's underpants to fit myself, <laughs> the many months of work <laughs> that we are now reaching the summit of is a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, we embarked on this journey to have a superhero battle bracket. We came up with a bunch of superheroes, commonly known superheroes, uh, all of, of Not either all Marvel. commonly known, but... I mean, you know, not everyone is a marquee name. You know, we had your Martian Manhunters and things like that. And, you know, your uh, uh-huh. uh, Hulks and, and Scarlet Witches and things like that. Uh, representing Marvel and DC is what we went with. Those two uh, comic characters. And uh, in no particular order, we threw them in a randomizer. We put them in a bracket. And we have been whittling down the competition since November. 
So here we are today. We are finally at the finals. One survivor finally. from each side has finally made it. And as luck would have it, uh, each representing, we have one DC character and one Marvel character. Mm-hmm. So without further ado. Well, I just want to cut in here. And because this is, you know how much I enjoy this. This is my mm-hmm. favorite thing we ever do. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's such a special thing. I would not only um, like to ra- raise our glass to this momentous occasion, but I'm curious what we're drinking tonight. I'm drinking an old fashioned here. Brian, what do you got there? I see your cup. That made me think of this. Yes, I inside this, I have a, a old fashioned in, a beer in many respects. A PBR is Ooh, in the glass ah, here this evening. I've seen this. Nice. Yes. All righty. Nikolai? Very good. Uh, I am drinking uh, from Magic City Brewing Company. I am drinking uh, Death Sings Me to Sleep. It is a uh, Mm. a, uh, Citra uh, Oat Cream Hazy IPA. Oh, delicious. Yes. And Scott? Mm. I'm actually drinking coffee. Well, all right. There we go. We're getting it's wild late. with it tonight. It's late. <laughs> I, did, I did not get that nap that I was hoping for earlier today. <laughs> well, cheer, cheers, gentlemen, to this shit finally being over. Cheers. Cheers. Clinky. There we go. All right. So, um, real quick, uh, before we jump into all this uh, wonderfulness, mm-hmm. how are we all doing this uh, this week? Brian, what's been going on? How you, How are you this week? I am doing well. I had a great uh, weekend. I went down to uh, my oldest friend's uh, uh, retirement house. He bought his his family home down in uh, Holloway, Ohio, Jim Cunningham. Um, He'd been dreaming about buying that house for many, many years. It's a house his grandmother uh, had and his mom grew up in and uncle. And uh, he plans to retire from the Akron Police Force in a couple of years and move down there. So hung out with him. It was great. Went boating hung out cigars bourbon all that stuff so very good very nice yeah very good guy time this past weekend so good stuff planning a nice get together this coming weekend with uh ali her daughter marlo my daughter peyton her boyfriend joey down to southern ohio and hang out in a cottage for a few days and just family time nice. get away for a few days so looking forward to that as well so nice thanks nice. yes looking forward to it nikolai how are you I'm good. What's going on? Good. No, not much. Just uh, you know. Right, Scott, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, pretty much the same thing as Brian. I ended up going down to Virginia. My buddy's got a lake house down there, so nice. We just, uh, you know, took the wife and, and daughter and boated all weekend, drank bourbon. Pretty much the exact same thing. We just there you go. It's a good weekend. So you guys Nick- got some hangout time this weekend. What's that? You guys got some hangout time this weekend. Yeah. Nice, nice. nice. Cool. Nikolai, in uh, in uh, seriousness, uh, what <laughs> what did you do this weekend? I'm good. I actually went boating. With, I went boating with Scott and uh, Brian's family, and it was great. Yeah. We uh, <laughs> talked cool. merciless <laughs> shit about you the entire time. It was fantastic. Well, sure, you <laughs> should. <laughs> yep. No, uh, no, no, no. Got to express his, his extreme disappointment and how his uh, son and nephew turned out. I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He was very yeah. proud of me, however, though. So. Sure. Yeah. First time yep. meeting me, but he was a big fan. Makes sense. Um, so proud of you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. It's good that someone is. Um, yeah. now, uh, not with their family, but with my own. I uh, went to uh, a little family get-together that uh, my mom's dad's side of the family does every year where they get together and, and uh, they have a really nice pool and pavilion and, you know, everybody comes over, makes a covered dish. So that was really cool. We did some swimming and had some fun and um, hung out with the, our neighbors and the, uh, uh, that night after we got home and had a good time around the fire and playing some cornhole. So, yeah, good weekend. Good, good weekend go. all around. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. About you, Dean. Dean. Yeah. None of, none of your goddamn business. Anyway, all right. Started. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all right. No, I, uh, I actually went uh, lavender picking. Oh, I did see that. Yes, yeah. in the pictures. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I didn't know that lavender. was a thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, you you pay uh to get into the lavender field, and then this you is at Maze Valley. Maze Winery. Valley. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, the the wine is fantastic. Most of the is. time, they just call that a vasectomy when you pay for it. It's not really a. <laughs> Oh, I had that done years ago. 
<laughs> we don't need any more fucking children coming out of this. Uh, <laughs> this that, was a, that was a Barberton city ordinance, I believe. If I'm not right. mistaken. If you want to Actually, continue the whole to reside city here. chipped in for it. <laughs> they sent a donation plate as with somebody's <laughs> old hat. It was like a levy. Yeah. Like, the school levy? No. <laughs> Dean vasectomy left? Yes. 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 Absolutely. Wait, wait. He's like on 22nd Street. Yeah. That, that, absolutely. Give that totally. Guy a, yeah. I don't want no any more. more of that happening. No. <laughs> no, but uh, Megan's, uh, Megan uh, loves uh, lavender uh, flowers there. And so mm-hmm. you pay to get into the lavender field and then you pay for the bundle that you pick. Nice. And I was the lavender cutter and so got, bundle, where, got some wine. Where in Fantastic. the lavender field? A maze Valley. Oh, okay. It, uh, it's a winery and a brewery type deal. Okay. Yes, very nice place. I've been there several times. Like yeah, you it's said, very nice. It's a very, they've added on to it over the years. They have that nice enclosed uh, garage area. They have live music there and stuff. But like Dean said, the, the wine is uh, fantastic. Correct. And yeah, uh, they, they have good beer there, too. Like, like I didn't no, get a chance to get the beer. It's kind of a yeah. figured I'm already there picking lavender flowers. Mm-hmm. May as well have wine. I may as well I'll have the wine. stout on draft, please. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's good. That's, they they said, you, "Sir, sir, your balls are so- showing." And then she, she's like, "Oh, I didn't think they, they came out of the purse." So she stuffed them back down in there, and we went about our way. Yeah, they have yeah. like uh, weekly car shows where guys drive their cars in classic cars and park out in the parking lot. You go seriously? I mean, it's big. <laughs> It's it's uh and it's, it's it's a free thing and uh, then they have fall events and like a pumpkin festival and stuff like that. Nice. And it's actually it's 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 very nice. Go check that Seems out. Seems like sometime. a nice place. Yeah, definitely. Oh, and I did watch um uh, because after that we went to a few breweries. So I was, you know, not feeling the greatest Sunday. Uh, mm-hmm. So we stayed in, watched the movies, and but uh, we did watch that uh, America, uh, the motion picture on Netflix, the cartoon. It's a it's a cartoon with uh, George Washington oh, and about Abraham this. Lincoln okay. are like best friends. You watched and... it the whole way through, dude. It is hilarious. It's R rated. I mean, you oh, see yeah. cart you see cartoon I, titties. I started it, and Jen was not interested. In well, you got to go with go knowing that it's going to be absurd. <laughs> oh, no, it, it was fantastic. The twenty minutes I saw of it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You got to go back on on your own and watch it, man. It's it's great. Uh, yeah, it's fantastic. But yeah, that that's that's about uh, what's going on in my neck of the woods. How about the neck of the woods of said battle bracket? Yes. Let's get into this. Mm-hmm. So who who Dean? Oh, who who has made it? Who has made it? Well, All I'm this going. Way. Go I'm, ahead. I would like to announce Wait, before them. Before we begin, mm-hmm. did Peyton did Peyton put a, a vote in? Ooh! Oh, you the, know what? Vibration. She was <clears throat> she was here for dinner this evening, and I did not ask her about the tiebreaker. Ooh, yeah, we have that dilemma here, don't we? Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you have mm-hmm. any way to text her while we're doing this, or is is the texting yes. machine? Nope. I can use it. I can use the uh, the iPad here. So I can so Dean, you... about her if I don't like the uh, right the answer to this, right? Yeah. So let me let me ask her. You could you could you can I'm announce to, it, the uh, go ahead please. Well, I'm going to introduce them as they're coming to the ring. I don't know how yes, to please. Do that. I'll pull this off so I don't um, blow out uh, your guys' ears or it just mutes me. So, all right. So let me see. I, I kind of wrote this out for us. Does this sound? Uh, are we good here? Yeah, a little bit Shake further because I can't hear you. A little bit further. A little bit further. A little bit further. Like this. A little bit further. Because I'm going to get louder. That's good. That's good. Mm. Okay. Nick, you keep making a face. Shake your head no if it cu- starts cutting out. I can still hear him, so I'm further, further. <laughs> oh, so you, all right, you're a real, you're a real uh, piece of shit. You know that real piece of shit. I've heard that. Yeah. There's a reason uh, your parents aren't proud <laughs> of you. <laughs> okay. okay, you're fine. Oh. Go. Peyton just it's just your voice, but whatever, quick. it's fine. I'm gonna have to go back to listen to, to whatever Nick's talking shit here. <laughs> All right. So uh, last week I tried it. Uh, my Michael Buffer voice turns into Oprah, sure. uh, giving away cars. So we'll see. Mm-hmm. So uh, 
Convincing Idiots proudly brings to you the Superhero Bracket. It's finally in. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event. Um, fighting out of the green corner, standing at six foot two, weighing at 180 pounds. Hailing from New York, New York, he is the master of the mystic arts. Master of black magic, he is the sorcerer supreme. Marvel Comics own Dr. Stephen Stray. Very good. And now, ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the red corner, standing at six foot tall, weighing in at 195 pounds from Central City, he is the Black Racer, the Scarlet Speedster, the Crimson Comet. Fighting for DC Comics, he is Barry Allen, the Flash. <laughs> Wow. And you actually did some research I, on those intros, I, I it did, sounds man. like. I, I did. Wow. I, I, I looked them up. Are those wow. the actual heights and everything? It and, is. Uh, yeah. How about Given that? from DC and uh, Marvel um, really? websites yeah, themselves. That's what they said. I didn't. I thought it was kind of odd, but hmm. maybe he's got both to him. Interesting. Okay. Oh, nicely I done. Have Peyton, Good I have Peyton's tiebreaker just in All case right. needed. Okay. Hmm. All right. So, Fantastic. We are set. Okay. Okay. So so, uh, how bad was that? No, oh, that was quite good. Yeah, it was good. If like if it was a different voice doing it, it would have been that's the only thing that could have been better. But it was great. I mean, it wasn't I get the that. I get that. It, it wasn't the Barry Gibb outro. Well, of course not. Uh, but it was a good no. intro. That might it have was, been our yeah. best intro. It was very good. Very well done, yeah. Dean. Nice job. Nice job. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Pulled it off well. So. so uh, that, that degree's paying for itself. Dean. That's right. It is. That's right. <laughs> One half a cent per time. Yeah. Half a cent. 368 years, that motherfucker will be worth it. Yep. 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 All right. So, to give a quick uh, rundown, if you will, how they got here, we'll just recap mm -hmm. that real quick. Sure. Uh, the Flash in the first round defeated Wonder Woman. Uh, in second round, I'm sorry, no, 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 that's not correct. In the first round, defeated Captain you Marvel. You had one goddamn job. In the second round, defeated Wonder Woman. And then, finally defeated uh, Martian Manhunter. Is that correct? To get here? It is. That is correct. Uh, go back to the archives, ladies and gentlemen, for the correct yeah, way there we go. I, I don't you, know. You're I don't the know. fucking record keeper, man. I gotta keep well, so, shit these, these lines are getting weird yeah. now. I don't okay. have a that lot of shirt's too to go goddamn this. tight. <laughs> That's what it is. Cut off the circulation <laughs> of my brain. Blood right. Right. Yeah, <laughs> or it could be it could be the underwear. It could be the briefs. Just too, That's true. Too, That's too where, packed yeah. in there. Yeah. That's true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> His Pokemon underwears are really tightening up the shit down there. Uh, Doctor Strange defeated Scarlet Witch in the first round, uh, and then went on to defeat, uh, Thor in the second round. And then finally, uh, we have Doctor Strange, uh, defeating Batman right. to get, get to this round. Correct? Yeah. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. That's the one. Like, See, I don't I fucking know. I yeah. Like Scott's like, I've only been here for one yes. fucking episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That wasn't here for the I know I, I was all in on Batman. So. That's yep. right. That's, that's right. right. That's right. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. Spider Man beat Batman. Yeah. All right. Well, Scott. however the fuck yep. they got here, they're here now. So there it all is. Right. They're, they're facing each other. Let's here we go. <clears throat> okay. Excellent. So. All right. So, well, well Statman, I think you, uh, you've you taken the reins on uh, all, all of them up until now. So, uh, mm -hmm. what do you got on them? Yeah, so again, in this, the rules here matter a lot, certainly as, as we've progressed through this thing. And the rules are, they are fighting on the Earth, so the, no outer space or interdimensional, you know, fighting, right? Mm -hmm. They're in a secluded spot somewhere on the Earth, like, uh, you know, downtown uh, Norton or something like that, perhaps. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, they know ahead of time who they're going to fight. So they have time to prepare. It's not, you know, they just meet on the street and fight. That If they just met on the street, that would take a, a lot of these battles would have went a different way, right? Mm. They are not fighting to kill each other. So there's no, you know, bloodless to really use, you know, full, just to defeat a hero in battle to advance. So 
it, you know, in unless that respect, you're, unless they're fighting ahead. Batman, everybody knows Batman's a dick. Maybe, maybe. So that's it. So and the rest you know, of them are like, you know, if something bad happens to them, I mean, none of us are really going to like be upset about this. So, yeah. So we know that, uh, you know, as, as Dean pointed out in the last episode, both of these guys are the kind of the multiverse time and space, you know, masters of their respective comic universes. So the flash has the speed force uh, is an ally. So where he can literally run through time and change things. Dr. Strange has the ability to, has the eye of, I'm going to say it wrong. Scott, help me out. The eye of what? The tiger. Uh, <laughs> something like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's, 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 yeah, that's, that sounds about right. Where he can, as you saw in the movie as well, if you watched the Avengers, he can see all infinite types of possibilities and all kinds of different things. He can also uh, loop time as well. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Uh, we know Doctor Strange has he he can go into an astral type form to where he's an asshole just, type form. No, that's mm-hmm. Dean. That's a, that's oh, the okay. uh, Dean. Form. That's this form. Oh yes, yes, yes. Yeah, this is an astral projection type form to where he, you know, he he's like a ghost, if you will, and he, you know, so uh, he can also put up shields. A little tighter now, aren't they? Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, the Flash has the ability to again run through time. He has the ability to phase. His, you know, he can move so quickly. He can phase through solid objects. Things can go through him. Um, Flash can, you know, go to a super speed and have like a supersonic type punch if he can get to somebody. Um, and he it's just he's just bolt. what's that? He can throw lightning bolt. I think that's right. Yes. And then, but he is so it's he's like so many millions of times as fast as speed of light. So. You know, kind of what it came down to in the in the last bracket, Flash was fighting Martian Manhunter, and Martian mm-hmm. Manhunter is a the, the most powerful uh, being, most powerful. Time. Yeah, well, he has he can he has <laughs> incredible telepathic powers, right? So they came down to that argument: could the Flash get to Martian Manhunter before he could even think? I'm going to think about the Flash and the, and the Flash if he, he could get to you. That was kind of, it came down to that debate. So, you know, that's, you sort of have a lot of things at play here to where Dr. Strange has his so sorcery abilities, right? Mm-hmm. He could put up a shield. Could he put up a shield quickly enough to stop the flash from getting to him? Could he put up a shield ahead of time? Could Dr. Strange remain in his astral type form to where, you know, the flash just can't do anything to him and still use his magic can the Flash do something with the time? Can Doctor Strange predict all these outcomes and figure out what could defeat the Flash? So, really, two very, very powerful beings in their own universes. So, it's really not a shock that both of them made it all the way to the to the uh, championship rounds. I did a lot of. I looked at various. Again, you can find any superhero debate you could think of, and you have nerds out there debating it. You trust the super nerds, you know. And I read a lot of these, and you know, you know they're all. D, you know, people have educated commentary and stuff like that, and a lot of people going back and forth. It was, uh, you know, you can make it. You can make a very strong argument for either one of these characters to defeat the other. So, you know, so speed versus sorcery again. That's obviously what it uh, what it comes down to, in uh, in my opinion, anyway. So, mm-hmm. uh, Nick, do you have any initial thoughts? Again, you guys don't have to say who you think is going to win yet. You can sort of talk through this a little bit. Sure. You don't yeah. have to make a prediction immediately. So let's go ahead. debate. Yeah. My initial thought, and this was it was the same for me when when uh, the Flash <clears throat> was against Martian Manhunter. I felt mm-hmm. that, uh, yeah, he's fast, and I understand that there's a. Um, He's, you know, maybe not, it's hard to comprehend just how fast he is, uh, that he is so fast that he can actually strike quicker than, you know, even though uh, in, in the last week, Martian Manhunter, this week, Doctor Strange, you know, are are so powerful and have so many um, weapons at their disposal uh, that he's just that fast to where they can't even they don't even have time to react to it so my initial reaction you know was still is still kind of leaning towards dr strange much like it did uh last week um but then under the same under the same rule um 
I feel like if the Flash was able to defeat Martian Manhunter, then he should be able to defeat Doctor Strange as well, because they have similar similar powers there, similar abilities. So uh, I don't but know. Doctor it, Strange it's is really an actual tough. character. It's really tough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, mm-hmm. I mean, they were both in movies, so mm-hmm. that's that's yep. true. That's they're, yep. they're both well, real. One, well, one not only was in one of the biggest movies. Of all time, but he also had his I've own movie. I've never seen that. I've never coming seen that. Out and, yeah, well, you, <laughs> it's out there. Um, mm-hmm. You would enjoy it. Mm-hmm. You just you choose not to. <laughs> it, it's mm-hmm. kind of like it's kind of like sex. Yeah. <laughs> um, nope. You could. Yep. Clean. You, you wanted to, but yep. you just choose not to. No. Nope. Yep. 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 Um, I'm gonna stay pure. You really a choice on that one. What's, What's that? that? I said, is it really a choice on that one? <laughs> <laughs> no, not for him. Um, well, he knows that you have to get naked in order to, to have sex, and he can't get that uh, that T-shirt off right now. So yeah. mm-hmm. it, he's got no choice but just yeah. never to have sex. You're going to have yeah. to deal with the uh, skin-tight romper I got going on right here right now. You what's, can't see the bottom half, any grown a, man yeah. wearing a Any grown man wearing a Power Ranger T-shirt isn't really going to have the chances to have sex anyways. <laughs> Says no. the guy in the Star Wars printed button up shirt with no undershirt. Is that correct? Okay, yep. Okay. Yep. <laughs> yep. Star Wars Hawaiian shirt, huh? That's, That's right. right. <laughs> I, do, I, I have an argument, though, with my Cylon shirt from the Battlestar Galactica. Thank you very much. But, <laughs> excuse yeah. me. Excuse me. I'm... <laughs> I, pardon me. <laughs> pardon me. I, I may have the least sex here. No, so. <laughs> Dogs are still yeah. sex. Yes. <laughs> I have an infant, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so Scott, any any initial thoughts? That you yeah, you don't have to give a prediction yet. Any initial thoughts you have on Doctor Strange versus the Flash? Well, my initial thought, because you know I was with you guys when you did, uh, I think it was Thor and Doctor Strange, and uh, you know we thought we, uh, I think we all agreed actually. I think that was an animal. Doctor yeah. Strange over Thor, yeah, because uh, mm-hmm. he had the ability to uh, predict basically the outcome. Um, but then when I was thinking about it, um, he can't actually time travel, right? Doctor Strange, yeah, I Outside don't think so. I don't think that, that that's in yeah, a way, I don't think in that's a way one of his abilities. In a way, with that loop, it that is a time travel esque. Situation but that's only going into the future, like, or well, he repeats himself, so he go happens, keeps going back to the past, back. right? But, he can't, but we he can't also actually time travel. We well, with the multiverse, back. we don't know what what that's going to bring. Now, let with, me say this here too. Go ahead, Dean. I'm sorry. Finish your thought. Well, I was just going to say with the multiverse, we don't know if that's going to bring time travel, you know, or is it just multiple universes, or can you know, will he be able to? I mean. With as powerful as he is, I, I can't imagine why he wouldn't be able to adjust that. If he can go back in a loop and go through the multiverse, why couldn't those two things be put together? Yeah. Sure. Or actual time travel. Once again, I sure. don't know how, how, what are you thinking about like time travel? How would that affect it if he could or couldn't? Well, because I'm thinking, so the Flash can time travel, you know, he can run fast enough to go back in time. And even like Doctor Strange, his character is created in a basically a single moment, which is he gets into a car. Well, in the movie, anyways, it was a car accident. I don't know if it's been a different. It uh, isn't in the situation. comics. No, that's what that's what happens exactly. in the comics. Yep. So you know he gets into the car accident. His hands are ruined because he's a surgeon, uh, and so he can't use his hands, and that's what leads him to eventually going into the Mystic Arts and becoming. You know, Sorcerer Supreme. So, the Flash, if he knows this is coming, why does couldn't he just run back in time and make sure that car accident doesn't happen? Oh, so okay. you're saying he could essentially wipe out Doctor Strange's timeline? Mm-hmm. Okay, now, interesting. But now you have to now you have to worry about uh, what sort of time travel scenario you're going to be uh, dealing with. So, if he goes back right. and wipes out Doctor Strange's becoming the Sorcerer Supreme, now you have to ask who would he be face? who is now facing the Flash in 
the br- battle bracket. Well, that's no, no, mm-hmm. no. But you guys but, talked but, me but, down but, from that theory before. With but uh, I'm, no, no, I'm I'm get, I'm actually explaining why I'm against what he's saying okay, because you know that that ruins the battle bracket altogether because it's going to you know the butterfly effect. You right. Change that in but every you didn't let thing. me. You you talked me back from that with Martian Manhunter, I, so you didn't I let agree. me use that. I know. I, that that's why I'm saying it. That's mm-hmm. that's why I'm bringing it up. Well, but I mean, isn't the goal to win this fight? Right. Win yeah. So this fight against Doctor Strange. So if you wipe out Doctor Strange, then don't you, you win? One by fight? default. Then he has to fight Thor. I mean, we're doing a battle bracket. With, there's a finals going on. In theory, if if you take yeah. out Doctor Strange but, but from being Doctor Strange, this is what I'm saying is we. But that's the paradox point. that we're working with in in your scenario. <laughs> the paradox uh, kind of butts up against now, itself because this either, is the same scenario I spit out before, and you, or that you you actually gave to me about him going back in time to defeat Martian Manhunter, and I said okay because you said he uh, what he's going to make his mom pull out or his dad pull out, and mm-hmm. and the sperm that, that would have been Frank Frank Manhunter would be mm-hmm. uh, right. yep. would be gone, and I said well right. then what who does he face or what if another version you said it doesn't matter that didn't happen and he he wins the fight he's gone so under that theory. Scott's the Scott's it's the same thing. So it doesn't matter what happens down the road because the okay. flash knows what he has done and he has done what it takes to win. Sure. Okay. I, hear, I mean, I, I'm, I'm go just going to call out, um, uh, uh, Batman's, uh, uh, slowly Ray. And, uh, <laughs> he's going to shoot him. Well, with it, it didn't and, uh, work. I didn't, have, I didn't have any part of that one. So. <laughs> <laughs> flashy, the flashy slowy ray. Yeah, flashy so mm-hmm. Yeah, Slo- flashy. So- that's not easy to say. Flashy slowy ray. Flashy slowy ray. Wayne Enterprises Inc. Flashy slowy ray. Ray. Yeah, the way. Right, so this is on CBR.com. So ComicBookReview.com. And again, you can mm-hmm. find all kinds of these types of debates and all that through through their opinions. Uh, now this one says that. Uh, Doctor Strange has dealt with speedsters before and has many magical abilities and incantations active at any given time to prevent damage from unknown or super fast enemies, including mystical shields that are able to react faster than Strange himself, as well as the ability to freeze time, all there of which you go. could give him the edge he needed to take out Barry or Wally, in this guy's opinion, anyway. So this guy believes well, that, that Doctor Strange would beat the Flash. Because of those reasons, because if you're a sorcerer, right, uh, sorcerer supreme, mm-hmm. your you everything he does, he's is a learned process, correct? Sure. So yeah. w- w- we don't know what he can do ultimately because he's he will always be learning. So mm-hmm. who knows if he has some sort of uh, a spell to create a barrier around him? So no matter what happens. It's going to block him, or he freezes time. Not that, the, all right, say that the Flash is able to, to speed through and come running faster than he can do a spell. What's saying that there's, he doesn't put a spell behind him, so to speak, to where the Flash hits that slow down or freezes time? The slow ray. Yeah. Kind of a slow ray uh, in magic form. And then you also, what I had said before in other Doctor Strange uh, bouts, is why not, uh, I mean, portals. He's running as fast as he can. If some, if you throw a portal up in front of him, he goes through it. Now he's in India. Mm-hmm. So, you know, he's going. I mean, he could probably get back from India pretty fast. He's flat. That's, that's true. <laughs> but if he keeps doing it, like he could put him in one of the, like in almost a loop. Where he's just running himself literally in a circle. Yeah. Does the Flash ever tire out? Uh, now it, yeah, he has to eat a lot. Yes. Right. Okay. So eventually he could tire out. He could yeah. tire out. Sure. He could tire out. I mean, if there's different it, on the Flash television show, they they show some of that. They speak to some of that to where he, yeah. like Scott said, he does have to rest. He does have to, you know, uh, eat to get yeah. his metabolism back and stuff like that. So. Because if Nick would have watched um, Doctor Strange, uh, the movie, right? Mm-hmm. He would have saw at the, uh, spoiler alert, at the end, when he's doing the loop to defeat the, the big 
space monster. And he's doing the loop. And he's I can do this, you know, all day. And he keeps going. No, no, he keeps getting killed, but still keeps coming back. Gets smashed, keeps coming back because he's on a loop and a time loop. And what you don't kind of realize is that they're showing you multiple clips of the different way he says, I'm here to bargain with you mm -hmm. over and over. To us, we're watching that movie and he does it like 15, 20, 25 times. But in probably storyline reality, that be, that could be happening for years. Yeah, that could have been going on for many, many years. And, and the Flash in the comics too. I mean, you know, he does have the ability to, to travel back in time. But at least in the Flashpoint series, he went back in time to try to save his mother from getting killed from whomever, and he still wasn't able to get it right. He went back in time, and he still at the end of the day, was not able to write that timeline and ultimately rescue his mom. So just because he can go back in time still doesn't mean that I don't you know can this do has what you bearing. want to accomplish. Go ahead. I, this doesn't have any bearing on the fight, Brian, but you, I, you've said that before. Um, now I'm curious, uh, why not? Did, does, it, does it explain what he did wrong? I mean, I think it's he, just... Did he knock on the wrong fucking door and his mom's being killed like a block over and he's just an idiot? I'm trying to... No, I'm trying to remember the the the, the rationale. Be, I, I, it might have been something along the line of it just... That's just... That's her destiny, yeah. if that makes sense. And you can't... Okay. Ultimately, you can't change... You can't change that. So you could, maybe, make the same theory in is it Doctor Strange's destiny to become the, the Sorcerer Supreme and all the things you try to do to divert okay. his original path, would he eventually find his way back in? Right. I don't because know. You can, argue, you can argue be... this. Okay. Yeah. You can argue this point uh, every which way. So, I yeah. mean, for me, at least for me, that his time travel to change Doctor Strange's destiny, that's for me, that's not going to cut it. So, um, again, it's just my opinion. So, you know, and then I also reflect on the Avengers movie at the very least, where Doctor Strange was the only one who figured out the path to ultimately mm -hmm. defeat Thanos. Right. So he, he examined millions and millions and millions of, of possibilities, and he was able to see what ultimately was able to defeat Thanos, which did work. And even so, given the... And he even went out of his way to take the path, A, that there was only one that they won, yeah. but it was also willing to sacrifice half the people of the of the whole known universe right? and all his friends and... And Tony, ultimately. And, right? and Tony, yeah. ultimately, and, mm -hmm. and, and uh, the Black Widow. So... Yeah. The dude's willing to do what it takes. Well, he even, he even told... Well, I mean, it didn't end up happening, but he told Tony... You know, if it comes down to you and the kid or the stone, I'm going to choose the stone. Fuck you. You know, both you can fuck your mothers. Right. Yep. All right. So all things considered for me. They left that out of the movie, I guess. What's, What's that? That, <laughs> that was yeah, the cut scene. Left, yeah. They left that yeah. out of the movie. <laughs> yeah. They, 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 <laughs> there were some lines they, they couldn't use. It was only a time thing. That's Disney. Fucking Disney. Right. You know. Just... All right. So all things considered for me, the, the fact that he can predict a myriad of outcomes. He can create a spell. Again, he knows. He knows the Flash. He, he would know his abilities. He would know <laughs> that the Flash could potentially go back in time and try to divert his own existence. Could he do something there to divert that even in the past? Could He could put up a shield or something ahead of time before the Flash could potentially get to him. And or he could remain in his astral form to not allow the Flash to be able to touch him uh, so, all things considered, I think Doctor Strange is overall just a bit too powerful for the Flash. So, that is my prediction. Doctor Strange edges out the Flash in a good battle, um, but just the, the magic abilities outweigh the, the speed, even though the speed force is very, very powerful. That's a very powerful ability that the Flash has. Sure. I think Doctor Strange could counter it with the ability to prep ahead of time. If they just show up in the same area at the same time, I think before, if, if Dr. Strange was not expecting it, 
the flash could and, and it could be too quick for Doctor Strange to be even react to put up a shield or do anything too you know quickly enough. But again, with the he's fact he's going to see all those different outcomes. That's right. That's what I think. He's going to figure out a way right to 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 cast the right spell, perform the right magic to uh, not allow the flash to harm him with the speed force somehow and and defeat the flash at least incapacitate him or freeze time or something like that like that guy said in that article that's what i got so anybody else uh, you can go right ahead uh, if you have any other thoughts or if you have your prediction you know whatever you want to do um well i i'll go um the one thing i did want to um say you know you have the idea um Throughout the, the, the battle brackets, what it comes down to is all these super fight super fighters, superheroes fighting, um, and you think you know who's gonna win. You know, like so I could have told you in the beginning who I thought was gonna win, right? Um and I I did have one person in mind, and I but I I could have come to you and uh said, you know, guys. I, I guarantee you that this guy's going to win. No matter, you know, because I know because I, I can I I, ins- I assure you I hell I insure you that that he's going to win, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and the reason I know that because I have the best insurance in town. Um, <laughs> I can insure you he's going to win because I have Blake insurance. Let me tell yes. you about Blake insurance, honestly. Real, uh, Blake is. is <laughs> Blake Insurance is an Erie insurance agency located right here in Barberton, Ohio. They offer auto, home, renters, business, or even life insurance, which is really important for a lot of these superheroes, you know, if they're going to get beat or maybe even killed. You know, Erie Insurance, above all else in service. If you want to call 234-571-5359 or visit BlakeInsuranceLLC.com for your free five-minute quote today. You know what? Yeah. If the Flash would have thought about that and went back, if only he could have went back in time. There's still time. And when Doctor, and when Doctor Strange crushed his hands in that car accident, if only Doctor Strange would have had Blake mm. Insurance, Erie yep. Insurance Group, maybe, yeah, maybe the, the, the hands could have been salvaged. The, maybe this so whole you're thing goes differently. Ultimately, yeah. the Flash was a five-minute quote away yes. from winning it's this very, race. But yeah, potentially, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. He didn't. He didn't. Uh, he didn't use that five minute quote. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to so go ahead. So would Aaron Blake win the battle bracket then? Aaron Blake <laughs> ultimately wins. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'm going to go because of that. I'm going to go ahead with uh, Doctor Strange, the Sorcerer Supreme. That's mm-hmm. my pick. Okay. okay, Scott. What do you think? I was really going to stick to my guns on the uh, the time travel. Uh, you know, stopping the car accident. And so Brian mentioned that maybe it is uh, Dr. Strange's destiny to become the Sorcerer Supreme. And if he's always, you know, if no matter what, he'll become Sorcerer Supreme. So you are officially voting for Dr. Strange now? Is that correct? Unless someone can, unless someone doesn't. Doesn't want me to, and has a better uh, argument. Uh, I, I, I don't. I wanted you to go first because I was just <laughs> wanted to see how your vote was going to go. <laughs> I, I think they're both wanting each other, help each other off the fence. I, I really was going to stick to that, but now the more I think about it, I think Brian's right. Okay. All righty, all right. Uh, in honestly, not that it matters at this point, uh, but uh, I would, I would have to say that I probably would agree that. Doctor Strange would win this battle, but I was happy to jump on board if Scott was going to say the Flash because I was going to vote for the Flash. So, but just out of curiosity, what would uh, our tiebreaker have been? Right. Uh, my lovely daughter Peyton predicted the Flash. Did you really? Oh, look at that. Yes, she she said that uh, she thought that uh, he's faster than. She she believes he's quicker than Doctor Strange could react. So before right. Doctor Strange could put up his portal, she thought the Flash could get to him too quickly. So that was her mm, that damn. was her prediction. Damn. Yep. 
Damn. Mm-hmm. Well, I tell you guys, I, I, you know, what I did, I went into the uh, Blake read, um, but I did, you know, my prediction was originally from the beginning, Doctor Strange. And I, I, I wrote it down back then, and I mm-hmm. wanted to show you that I wrote it down. Sure. See, wow, Doctor Strange that, all day, and I that, even date a few, few months ago. Wow. That is rock <laughs> solid <laughs> proof right there. Yep. I just wanted wow. to prove it. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Uh, when I looked at this bracket, I, the two that both jumped out for me from each side was Doctor Strange and Martian Manhunter, just because of their abilities and their to, I mean, in their respective, you know, uh, comic universes, they're they have all the abilities. They have the most, uh, you know, weapons at their disposal. So uh, it's not a surprise that Doctor Strange won because uh, he is uh, quite powerful. Uh, and I mean, honestly, I didn't really expect. I mean, looking at the bracket, maybe I just didn't know or didn't realize exactly uh, how fast the Flash was. Um, but I didn't really think he was going to make it out of the first round. I thought, well, Captain Marvel, you know, you're, you're looking, you're checking all the boxes, right? Super speed, super strength, super this, super that, whatever. And, you mm-hmm. know, the Flash, you go, yeah, he's fast. He's really fast, dude, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you, until you really put that into perspective, uh, which is, I mean, same thing with uh, Spider-Man. You know, Spider-Man made it all the way to uh, the, the finals of that side of the bracket. I mean, I wouldn't have really expected that. I love Spider-Man, but I sure. wouldn't have thought, but because you just don't realize how quick he is. Um, I wouldn't have guessed the Flash, honestly. Yeah. Like, so, just thinking about it, like you said, you know, right off the bat. Right. So, yeah, this was definitely you, uh, interesting yeah. to do, though. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Uh, and, and the more I read about the Flash as well, that, that was one thing that he was susceptible to was uh, magic type stuff. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, it and ultimately, that's what we think uh, gives, you know, just edged him out, basically, yeah, if sure. you will. So, yeah, yeah. good stuff. Yeah, I, I think it's, uh, so out there, if you're listening, uh, if you're watching us, you know, if you agree or disagree, you know, we uh, we welcome your commentary, most certainly. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you, you know, between uh, The Flash and uh, Doctor Strange, who you think uh, would have won, maybe Nick it be, would be wise so we could put the whole, rundown we could post that out there again just to kind of give the whole yeah. summary you know sure. how, how they arrived there and if anybody has any any uh you know other thoughts of who they would have predicted to to win so yeah yeah good stuff so uh now now we go ringside uh for the official call of the match and he pulls down the uh the thing there in front of him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. ladies and gentlemen after months and months sweet god and months it is finally over. Your winner and the grand champion, Dr. Stephen Strange. His name's Stephen? Yes. 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 Stephen. Stephen Strange. Old mm-hmm. Stevie Strange. Old Stevie Strange. Mm-hmm. Yep. Stevie Strange. <laughs> I went to, I used to work with a guy who was nicknamed Stevie Strange. Stevie Strange. Not the same reasons, but yeah, Stevie Strange. He was many different re- other reasons why he was strange. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, strange. I, I think I we uh, d- did arrive at the, at the uh, uh, a correct victor here. I will say that. Uh, we, we, yeah. It was a... a uh, very respectable winner of this battle bracket. Um, sure. So, uh, and and Dean, how do you feel now that it's finally over? How are you feeling? Um, I mean, I, I made the joke, and, and people listening on the podcast, um, when I said that I wrote it down, uh, the the visual gag was I wrote it down literally in front of the camera just before I showed it. But the best that, jokes are the ones you have to explain. It's great. Well, if you're on podcast, <laughs> it was just fucking silence for a few minutes, and then. I got a giggle, and then it was over. Um, but honestly, he was my my one pick in the beginning of this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we should have we should have legitimately written that down and saved right. it. Yeah, but that's okay. Yeah, we believe you. Yeah. I thought he'd get very far as well. Just to yeah yeah just to, with who we selected at random, and you know right. certainly factors too were some that did not get into our random bracket that if they sure. were in it, it might have went differently like we talked about uh deadpool it would he have made a, a strange run at getting pretty far in this thing with his abilities uh the phoenix you know how far would Je- mm. jean gray perhaps have gotten with her mental abilities and so forth so but they didn't they didn't make the cut and 
here we are. So yep, here yep. we are. Yep, there we go. Very good. Boys, it's been a it's been a long few months. Um, it has. So <clears throat> going forward, what's our next bracket? <laughs> the villains uh, bracket. The, the villains, villains bracket. bracket. Come on. That'll be interesting. Yeah. Yeah, we did I talk su- about that. Yeah, that that might be good. I suggested the other day to Nick uh, that we do a Smurfs bracket. I don't know if mm-hmm. you guys would be interested in that. Yeah. And that might be fun. Mm-hmm. Or mm-hmm. the villains mm-hmm. bracket mm-hmm. might be fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, honestly, if uh, I mean, I think a villains bracket would be really cool if I felt that there was any um, demand at all for the one that we just finished. So. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean. If if we hear from anyone out there who has enjoyed this one, and and would be interested in the villain bracket, I mean Let we're all know. ears. We're absolutely sure. willing to accommodate. It's no problem at all. Um, but uh, yeah, there are many different ways you can uh, get a hold of us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and to let us know there, Nick, what would those be? Well, for Great. example, if you have a Facebook. You could go to the little search bar up top and search for Convincing Idiots. If you have a YouTube page, you can go to the same little, well, not the same search bar. It's on YouTube. (laughs) You go to that one, you search Convincing Idiots. Uh, Twitter, at Convincing Idiot, just one, not plural. Uh, Instagram, at Convincing underscore Idiots. You can also find us on TikTok. That is also at Convincing Idiots. Uh, Or if you don't want people to know that you spend your time listening to us obsessively, you can email us. That's convincingidiots at gmail.com. And there you can tell us all your deepest, darkest secrets and how much you truly love us all. Please Even Scott, that. who's not here all the time. Maybe you want more Scott. Tell us you want more Scott. We'll abide. So, uh, you can go to any of those things. You can also listen to us anywhere where you enjoy listening to podcasts. Uh, mm-hmm. Google, Apple, Spotify. We're on all of them and many more. Uh, thanks to Anchor. So uh, search for Convincing Idiots or ask your home assistant device to play Convincing Idiots. Or you can save the last 30 seconds of me telling you everywhere to go find it and Google Convincing Idiots. Link tree, L-I-N-K-T-R-E-E. Search for Convincing Idiots. And there you will have links to conveniently place you to all of the social media sites that I just mentioned. And by God, tell your friends. Tell your friends. Tell your mom. If not, tell I'll friends. tell her when I'm with her later tonight. Tell your friends, tell the squirrels in the tree, tell the groundhog that lives under your shed outside that you see early in the morning when you're having your cup of coffee. Tell him. Tell him Definitely to subscribe. Him. Yes, absolutely. Tell your children. Tell your children to listen. I, oh, I, oh, tell I, Scott's I don't know cats to listen. Tell, yeah, definitely tell, tell Scott's cats. Somebody tell Scott's cats. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And, and we, <laughs> never mind. One singular, one cat. Oh, one cat. I'm sorry. Well, tell the one cat. Scott, tell the cat, please. We've been listening the whole time. So. All right, he's our. All right, he's We have one listener, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, please go like, please subscribe. Thank you for hanging in there. If you've listened to one or any more of these uh, uh, superhero battle bracket episodes, we appreciate your time. We appreciate your patience, Dean. And uh, thank you again for joining us and embarking on this mission with us. So for Convincing Idiots, I am your millennial. My name is Nicholas. I am the Zennial. I am Dean. I'm Brian Gen X. I'm just Scott. <laughs> He's just Scott. Just Scott just the Scott. millennial too. <laughs> Have we convinced you to do another battle bracket? Hmm. Dean wants it. He wants it. Well.